plural noun proposition papers. Today we're looking at Think Again Christian, and uh, this is near and dear to my heart since I've been actually working on Think Again Christian papers, uh, my Think Again Christian radio show, Think Again Christian podcast, Think Again Christian book is coming for over 25 years. And the very first Think Again Christian I ever wrote was police versus paramedic. And so uh, today we're going to be talking about how to do the plural noun proposition for Think Again Christian. Again, the assignment is simple. Either you're you're listening to uh, a Think Again Christian uh, speech on YouTube or either listening to a Think Again Christian on podcast. And so these actually came directly from the radio show. And um, I'm sure you're going to really enjoy uh, a lot of these uh, little little tidbits that uh, I've collected over the years. Uh, most of them are not original to me. Uh, I've taken them uh, from other people. And so just uh, very, very good uh, insights and, and instruction for us to be able to glean from pop culture and uh, Christian traditions and Christian worldview and, and pop culture worldview. So we're talking about developing the plural noun proposition for Think Again Christian. Again, the assignment is simple. You're going to write a one to two page paper uh, outlining, you know, summarizing three aspects or three things that you learned uh, from the presentation. In a plural noun proposition paper, as always, we first we have to determine have to determine the proposition of the paper. Second, we have to compose the outline of the paper. Third, we prepare the body of the paper. Fourth, we're going to write the introduction to the paper. And then fifth, we're going to formulate the conclusion for the paper. The, these are the five steps that we always take for our plural noun proposition papers. First thing we're going to do with uh, Think Again Christian, like everything else, we're, we're going to brainstorm. But even pre-brainstorming, we are going to take Cornell notes. We're going to take notes. Uh, you're most likely, you're going to be sitting somewhere listening to uh, Think Again you know, through a podcast or, or YouTube. And so make sure you have a little notepad with you. Take notes. Take notes. I, I, I guarantee there's going to be some kind of, of outline, even though you're listening to an oral presentation, uh, all of them have, have a format that you should be able to pull out your two, three, four different propositions uh, for you to write this paper. And so you're just summarizing what you've learned. You can summarize what you agree with, disagree with, even questions. Um, but it should be essentially the type of paper that that if I read it, I have a pretty good understanding of what the title police versus paramedics means after I read your paper. So we want to find out what our key three points are. We're going to brainstorm, put a bunch of different ideas from the show. You're not creating ideas. You're getting them from the show since it's a summary of the show. Uh, then you're going to develop uh, proposition statements or sentences from your, your three brainstorming ideas. So if in, in this case, uh, police versus paramedic, naturally, we're doing a compare and contrast between police and, and paramedic. So we're most likely looking at two. We're going to look at two different uh, elements, two different aspects to what happens uh, at the scene of an accident when the police and the paramedics show up. Um, so we're probably looking more at two. We're going to compose the outline of the paper. So we're going to have our our two uh, main topics. And in this case, let's say I'm going to pull out the first viewpoint from a law enforcing uh, police officer's approach is the second viewpoint from a caregiving paramedic uh, support approach is. And so you get a, a feel for what could be uh, your your plural noun proposition sentence. Remember, remember your Cornell notes, determine the proposition, uh, choosing the, the outline. We're, we're, we're still in rough draft mode, right? All this until the final draft is a rough draft. So uh, we can change, we can wordsmith. 
Uh, we can smooth out the language. We can add illustrations. We can add facts at any given time. We're still at the stage where we're just really formulating the, the basic idea, the basic structure um, for your paper. Let me take a step back here real quick. Let me tell you a little bit about the police versus paramedic. In the police versus paramedic, we take a look at, at the scene of a, of a car accident. So picture an intersection. There's an intersection. And two cars go through the intersection. Well, somebody's got a red light, somebody's got a green light, right? If two, two cars occupy the same space at the same time, what do we call that? We call that an accident. So what's going to happen? Well, there's, there's two uh, emergency first response people that are going to show up at the scene. The first one is a police officer. You know what the police officer wants to know? The police officer wants to know who's at fault. The police officer wants to gather the facts, gather the information to find out who's at fault. Meanwhile, the paramedic's job, the paramedic's role is to come on the scene and make sure that anybody who's injured is taken care of. So think about that for a second. Same accident, same incident, but there's different roles. The, these two different professionals have a different role. One is to find out the facts, to find out who broke the law, and in essence to... Uh, to be judge over the over the incident, right? The other one's just there to help, to grant mercy, to be gracious, to heal. Well, when we look at our Christian lives, when we look at the type of people we are, well, who are you? Are you a policeman? You like law and order? You like the rules? You're here to make sure that all the rules get done in time on time? Or you like a paramedic. You're just here to fix it. You're just here to restore. You're just here to uh, to forgive and forget, to be gracious, you know, to, to give the, the, the gift of not punishing. Police are there to punish. Paramedics are there to heal. And so in this story, we see a picture, a spiritual picture of how maybe naturally you tend to lean one way or the other. But really, spiritually, we, we need to have elements of both. As a parent, certainly as a parent, I need to be like a policeman. I need to know what happened. I need to know why you disobeyed the rules. I need to know who's at fault. And there's going to be consequences for disobedience. But as a parent, I also want to be gracious. I also want to be merciful. I also want to be gentle and kind and, and be in a position to restore. It's a beautiful thing. And so we wear two hats. So in, in, in my proposition here, I have, uh, there's two different philosophical viewpoints to describe, uh, that describe uh, the scene of an accident, which are enforcing police officers and caregiving paramedics. The first viewpoint is from a law enforcing police approach. The second viewpoint is from a caregiving um, paramedic approach. See, that's my proposition. That's my two-point proposition. Those are my two, my two opening sentences. And so when I go back now and, and write the introduction to this paper, I need to capture the attention of the reader. Remember, the reader hasn't read the, the article. It, it's my job to summarize. It's my job to bring to life the article without rewriting the whole article. So I have to capture the attention. You know, and, and so maybe the opening line is, have you ever been in an automobile accident? It's like right away, it's like, if you have, oh yeah, and you have post-traumatic syndrome. If you haven't, you're like, yeah, I don't, I don't want to get in an accident. You know, have you ever been in, a, in an automobile accident where somebody was injured? Have you ever been in an automobile accident where you caused somebody to be injured? Pause, right? So capture their attention. Ask or ask questions, right? Have you ever been? Were you ever in an accident? Uh, direct the reader to a purpose. Okay, we're going to talk specifically uh, about policemen and paramedics at the scene of a car accident. Remember, we have to summarize the lecture, so we're kind of going to tighten that up. 
tighten that up so that our reader and or listener, a reader of, of our paper, can understand what this is about. Then we want to support. We're going to support our propositions with the body of the paragraph. So we're looking at sentences that usually relate to the reasons given, supporting statements, comments, or facts. And so the first approach is the policeman. What does the policeman do? So I got my first approach. It's the policeman. Name three things that a policeman does. He gets names, right? He gets the facts. He finds out who's at fault. Name three, give three comments or facts about uh, the paramedic, right? Write those down. Why or how does this uh, topic um, apply? How does it apply to you? Maybe it applies to you because you tend to be rigid and legalistic. Maybe it applies to you because, you know what, you are you're you just seem to don't care about anything. You just, oh yeah, say la vie, forgive and forget. Maybe you need to, to work on the balance. Uh, how does it benefit? What's the benefit to me or to others? You know what? You need to embody the, the emergency approach like that of a policeman and a paramedic. You know, make, make it personal. You need to be like a paramedic. Uh, our concluding paragraph, or conclu our, our, our formulating our conclusion. Wrap up the ideas, summarize it. Again, you may want to restate uh, your thesis. Uh, you want to ask yourself again, did, did I really do a good job of presenting this? A lot of times at the end, I realize, you know what? I don't really like my proposition statement. I'm, I, I've got to tweak it a little bit in order to, to come in and have a smooth landing, you know, an impactful finish. Uh, tell me why. Tell me why I should agree. If you haven't presented your argument well enough to show me the overall benefit, um, maybe you haven't done a good, a good enough job. Remember, counter any other arguments. There, there's going to be some arguments of people that are like, nope, nope, got to be like the policeman. That's the most important thing. Got to find out who's at fault. You know, money's involved, insurance. I mean, we, we've got to know who's at fault. And the other person like, no, you, you just should care about, about who's injured. Okay, so be ready to counter the arguments and then have that powerful uh, explanation at the end. Come home strong, make it exciting, make it dynamic. And this is the reason why you need to, and then finish it. Don't introduce new ideas or new contact, uh, concepts when you come in, land the plane. Land that plane nice and smooth. Don't come in and then they go back up and then come in again. Your final outline should look something like this. Again, we're just looking for five paragraphs, uh, an introduction, a conclusion, three uh, supporting uh, propositions, or two in this case. Now, you can always expand. I mean, feel free to expand, but, but the assignment, this is the bare minimum of the assignment. So plural noun proposition papers, this is the format for Think Again Christian.